Hey guys, welcome to the Boston Rob Show. Just another beautiful spring day in New England. That's right, almost halfway through April and it's cracking 40 degrees. As you can tell, as you can't tell, not a sun in the sky, just clouds. It's beautiful. Although, it's still shorts weather. So, this week was a tough week. My daughter had to go to the ER. That's never fun. She's all right now, but got me thinking about all those people who uh, told me, you never denied healthcare in America. You can always go to the ER. Well, what about those follow-up visits? Do you do those at the ER? Yeah, I don't think so. Man, it is cold. I honestly thought I was gonna do this Boston Rob episode on a walk. Thought we were gonna do a walk and talk. I don't think so. We might have to go to my traveling studio, AKA the car. It is a tidbit nipply. A little too much for my comfort right now, right now. That's all. Well, the other thing is my daughter, my other daughter, my older daughter, she's asking me questions about something I think, because the tax deadline's coming up. And I realized they don't teach kids this in school. They don't have like, you know, sanctioned authorities to teach children this stuff. I know it didn't happen when I was going to school, but wouldn't it make sense, right? Why aren't they teaching kids about taxes in school? It's something we're all gonna have to deal with and we figure at least educate them on it. If the president's gonna brag about him being smart because he found all the loopholes and didn't have to pay taxes, then why aren't we teaching kids that in high school? I mean, seriously, before they get into college, because God knows a lot of them aren't going, who wants to incur that kind of debt? I'm no, just kidding, you gotta go to school, kids. Gotta go to college. Yeah, take out a huge loan to get your mediocre paying job. Uh, you'll never be able to pay it back. Anyways, made me think like, you know, I can't answer these. I'm not a tax professional. There should be some kind of life courses. The school system is just outdated. The curriculum, everything. I mean, I guess it's not outdated if we were still sending kids to go work in factories, but they're not. Times have changed. The tech sector is the future. So why? And I, and I mean this, if you know the answer, hit me up in the comments. Why aren't they teaching kids, you know, certain life things in school? Taxes, the stock market, if you want to make money. Um, there was another one. What was it? Oh, and how to run for office. You know, kids should be taught how to run for office. And just too many wealthy elites are in there. Or Hollywood types. And I, I think it'd be good for every child to know how to get those forms filled out and get your signatures to get on a state ballot, right? Wouldn't it be? Why aren't they teaching kids this? Is it because they don't want everyone to have the knowledge because knowledge is power? Possibly. All right, be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the Boston Rob Show. Sorry about all that shaking. I didn't realize that when I was walking, my camera doesn't have a stabilizer. A stabilizer, like zoinks. So, it was wicked shaky. My apologies. But what I was saying is, knowledge is power. They don't want kids to have any power. They keep the knowledge from them. I don't know, if I ever run for PTA president, I like that title, <laughs> then, uh, Maybe I'll change America's curriculum. We all know computers are the future. Why are they having kids sit in classrooms all day, getting ready to work in a factory? We should be teaching them stuff like, buy, 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 sell, sell, sell. Sorry for the shaking again. You know, teach them the stock market. Make that money work for you. That's what I've heard. Speaking of the stock market, got this app called Stash. Is anybody? use this? Is this legit? I'll tell you what, I brought it up to my wife twice. I texted her it with my code so I could get $5 free investing money. And she's like, yeah, you're not really investing. 
she's really got me doubting myself on this one. Like, am I just giving money to a Russian syndicate app group? I don't even know what that means. But you get what I'm saying? Like, are they going to just disappear one day and take my money? Or did I really buy Walt Disney stock and cannabis stock? I, uh, there's my portfolio. I should make my avatar, Mickey Mouse, doing dabs. Is dabs a weed thing? I don't even know. Weed has gotten so futuristic. Remember when you used to just roll a joint? Remember? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, let me know if you use stash. I will follow up with you on whether it's legit or not. I'm waiting for all my stocks to process. I bought them late Friday night. So I'm guessing they rang the bell and closed the market. Does that sound correct? I don't know. I'm new to this, but obviously I've gotten the language down. Anyways. All right, Gordon Gecko. Is that his name? I don't really see that movie either. See, this is why they need to teach kids stuff like Wall Street 101. How to invest your money and not give it to Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff can't develop apps, right? We'll see. I'm gonna start doing paranormal investigations again. I'm trying to get someone to go with me. My cousin's bailed. I won't say which cousin, I have a lot of them, but you know who you are. Please come with me. I told you, we'll go in the daytime. I don't wanna go in the daytime. I got another friend, local hip hop legend, Stiz, who is saying he'll go with me, but you never really know. When push comes to shove, and it involves people maybe witnessing something that could change their life forever, sometimes you get some nerves. I'll tell you what, I ain't going in there brave. I'm scared as heck, but I love it. It's fun, and I think it will make really great videos. As soon as this weather changes, which is spring ever coming, or is it just like, I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Is it just going to be winter forever? Uh, I could have never survived in the Ice Age. You know, people say, thank God I was born now. Thank God I was not born in the Ice Age. I love the winter. I love the fall. But I always appreciate when summer comes along. It, it's just a good appreciation of being able to bring it back outdoors. A couple other things I want to talk about. Did you see Zuckbot 5000? The Zuckerberg? Yeah, the guy ain't human. See this picture of him drinking water? Yeah, that dude's a robot. Who drinks water like that? Guy drinks water like a bird. And have you ever seen a bird drink water? No, but I'd imagine it looks like Mark Zuckerberg drink water. What is he doing with his lips? Is he puckering his lips like a beak and just putting his mouth in the cup of water? What a weirdo. Let's look at that again. What is he doing? If he's not a robot, he's the first cyborg ever. Because he's not totally human. Weirdo. Then, this Walmart yodeling kid. I'm on YouTube a lot. If you haven't seen him, he just... He's some kid dressed up like a 1950s cowboy yodeling at Walmart. He's playing at Coachella this weekend. What? This is what irritates me about America. This kid yodels at Walmart. He doesn't even do a good version of the Hank Williams song. It's pitchy at best. I know America's in love with you right now, but if I gotta Simon Cowell this, I will. He's he's all of a sudden gonna be playing like, I don't think it's the main stage. I think he's playing at 215 tomorrow. But still, playing at Coachella because he yodeled at Walmart. If they don't decorate that stage to make it look like the rollback aisles at Walmart, then F you all. Well, that's it for right now. But first, if you haven't subscribed to mine, if I could hit the button for you, I would, but I can't. So subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Oh, 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 and, and hey, for those of you who have subscribed, thank you because I have actually cracked triple digits. And uh, I'm very appreciative from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much because I'm trying to do my own show. It's slow and coming. Being a full-time stay-at-home dad is no easy job. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Keep it revolutionary. Later.